guys so it's been such a long time since I've done a sit down video this is a little bit weird <laughs> but yeah I wanted to do a January favorites it's been like literally like almost over a year or two since I've done a favorites video and usually we do it as family but I had a lot of stuff since it's been like stockpiling all my favorites over the past few months so it's like January favorites but basically it's like two year favorites <laughs> basically and it's like random like I have food clothes a bunch of different stuff so I'm just gonna get started with like the beauty kind of stuff and the first thing is um, like Cantu products that's what I have been using for my curls it's like so inexpensive this stuff it's like half the price of like Shea Moisture and stuff and I don't really want to try those brands don't get me wrong but this like gets the job done and it's like really inexpensive and my favorite product from Cantu is the moisturizing curl activator cream and it's for natural hair Cantu Shea Butter and I like it because it um, it really defines all of my curls, like especially on the bottom. Like it gives me those like spirals like this when I use this product. And I notice that I don't get that when I don't use this. Like at first I wasn't even using this, but then I saw it and I bought it and I really love it. It like really makes my curls like bouncy and like soft and the product smells so good guys. If you like the smell of like coconut, it just smells like a coconut icy and I just it just makes me want to go to the lake and like get icy. <laughs> but yeah, I really like Cantu. And then I got this leave-in conditioner and all of the products smell basically the same. Well, this one smells a little bit different. But they smell so good. You should guys should give it a try. It's really inexpensive. And it has no sulfates, silicones, parabens, or mineral oils. So it has that stuff that's good for your hair. And it smells really good. The next thing that I've got off of Amazon is this, um, it's like an exfoliator kit and it has like those brushes, but I got it on Amazon and it's only $25 and the reason that I got it is because sometimes I get like dryness right here and it like flakes up my skin and it's really, really weird and it just feels so nasty, especially with the new soap that I've been using makes it even worse so yeah I really like this kit because it's cheap and it comes with everything that you need it has like all these brushes in there it has the big exfoliating body brush the small exfoliating face brush the pumice tone sensitive skin exfoliating face brush and it's really good quality I feel like for $25 it like spins the brushes around and it basically takes like the dry skin off of your face. I will say that the first time I used this, I like over um, exfoliated and I didn't even do it that long, but it was like, it felt raw. Like I put on lotion and my skin was literally burning. So if you get this, you just really need to do it like maybe like one time, especially in your sensitive areas. Like since I'm flaky here, I can only go over it like once and then be done with it. But I like this because it really improves the dryness in my skin and I feel like it makes it smoother in the end. You just have to make sure that you really, really moisturize after you use this because then it will just make it more dry. But yeah, I like it and it's waterproof so you can use it in the shower all over your body as well. I use it, not just on my face. Speaking of the shower, me and Richard, we got like a uh, sample in the mail and we like love this stuff. It's so good. This is the in shower body lotion by Nivea and we like it in cocoa butter and it's like in the shower you wash your body and then you put this all over and it's kind of like an oil and it just makes your skin so soft. I really like it. Ah! I just got some on my nose like who does that? <laughs> and it smells really good and it just makes your skin feel so silky and so smooth and you're supposed to rinse it off after the shower. Sometimes I don't. I probably should but it just like especially if you're forgetful or like you're in a rush and you can't necessarily put lotion on it after you get out like Richard doesn't <laughs> then that is a perfect product for you and you should definitely give it a try the last product that I've been using for like maybe like three months is this Dudu Osan soap it's by Tropical Naturals and it's basically just black soap but I love this stuff I also got this on Amazon it's like a huge bar of soap for it's like two dollars each because there's it comes with six and it's twelve dollars but it's really worth it like if you have dark spots on your skin this will help fade it the only problem is I have a problem with picking at my acne and my scarring and stuff so it's taken me a while to see like the full results I will say that it makes your skin really soft but you don't want to use this too much because it'll dry your skin it has like lemon juice and stuff so you have to moisturize good after this 
but I really like it. It's fading my scars and it's making my skin really soft. It's like all natural. No artificial colors, no preservatives, and it's biodegradable, it says. But I really like this stuff. So you guys, if you have pigmentation and stuff, you should give that a try. Okay, the next thing I'm going to go to is food. And guys, this is like the weirdest thing to, to love, but I love rice cakes lately. And it's the um, caramel corn ones by Quaker, Quaker. And I use this as a snack. Like, I will eat it with a smoothie or whatever. Like, I just love eating this with apples also. I've been addicted to apples. I'm trying to eat healthier because I'm trying to lose and I need to lose a lot of weight. So, yeah. I like this. It's low calories. It's, um... 50 calories for one and 30 megagrams of salt, 3 grams of sugar. So it's like, it's a really healthy snack. And especially because it's healthier than anything else I was reaching for before. So I'd rather replace it with something that's more healthy for me. And another thing is these rice cakes. It's basically the same thing. But this is just more crispy. And this one is the apple cinnamon. Popped rice cakes. Also by Quaker. Really good. And also... It's not bad for you either. You could eat 13 of these, 120 calories, 100 milligrams of sodium, and 8 grams of salt. Not bad. And it has whole grains and stuff. So, like I said, it may not be the healthiest thing to eat ever, but it's way healthier than what I was eating before. So, I'm happy that I like all of this kind of like more healthier snack foods. The last food thing is also another snack food. I've been loving popcorn for the past few months. I don't know why. Like, I just love popcorn. And I, tr I try to get the ones with less butter because it still tastes good and you don't need to eat all that butter. And I sometimes I put, like, Cajun spice seasoning on it, like Creole seasoning. It's really good. Or I take the popcorn and I dip it inside some Chipotle sauce. And it's so good. You guys should try that. Sounds weird, but it's really good. Another random thing, which is like an electronic, is this jam speaker. I really like this speaker. It's so small, it's portable, and it attaches through your Bluetooth, and it doesn't need any batteries or anything. And it plays your music pretty loudly. Like, we have a small apartment, so this is perfect. And you can also get two of these kinds and pair it together, so you can have two speakers. But I love this. We take it on picnics. We take it to, like, my mom's house. When people are over, we play music on this thing. And I really like it. Portable, small, and easy to use. So yeah, the Jam Plus speakers are where it's at. Another favorite is this new camera that I'm filming with. This is the old camera that we had, the Canon PowerShot 330 HS. And this was given to us by a friend, Destiny. I really appreciate her giving this to us. But it had like clicking problems with um, focus and stuff because we use this all the time and it's basically broken and stuff and we like we definitely it has wear and tear on it. This whole this thingy popped off that holds the um, battery together. But I really like this camera so we upgraded to the newer version of this camera. So I'm like in love with this camera. It doesn't make any click sounds, has better megapixels and all of that. So yeah. Definitely in love with this camera, the Canon 350 PowerShot HS. If you're like looking for a cheap camera that vlogs and has good megapixels and all of that, I definitely suggest you check this out if you're a YouTuber or just want to take videos of your kids and stalk them like I do. <laughs> Next favorite is this book bag. Um, if you guys watch our vlogs, then you saw that Richard gave this to me for our anniversary in October. And I really like this bag. It's small and it's cute and it has like a kajillion pocket. So it's like a good mom bag. Like I just throw all my stuff in here when we go out. And it's like very roomy and easy to use. You know, you just throw all your stuff in and keep it moving. And it's cute. Like functional and cute. That's definitely my style. Comfy cute. That's it. This is so cute. And I love that he got this for me because he saw that I liked it. I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then he bought it for me. Those are the best kind of gifts, I feel like random and it probably looks weird but Richard calls these moo's. it's like um pajama dresses and I get them like way bigger than I need it but how cute is this pattern it's like purple with hearts on it and stuff like that's so cute like I'm like in love with these things it's so easy to wear this like you don't have to worry about finding pants and shirt and whatever like you just put it over and it's like cute without being overly sexy for like when Dion's here you know like that's a way to keep it cute but not crazy and Richard also bought me this for Christmas. It's another Moo Moo. But I just love these things. I don't know, like, am I the only one that wears these, like, type of, like, Moo Moo dresses? I don't know. 
I don't know what you call it. I guess it's like a pajama dress. But they're so cheap. It's like $5 each. It's so much cheaper than getting like a full pajama set. And I'm much more comfortable in that than I am in other type of pajamas. So yeah, I love those. And I've had these boots since last year. These just fab boots. They're basically just like plain black boots with like buckles on it. I wear these literally almost every day. Every time I go out, I basically, these are the shoes that I come, that I go to. And they're like very well made and I just like them. And it's not bad a price. I got two boots last year for $40. I really want to order some more. Just fab boots. I'm like really a fan of their boots and their company because it's like pretty cheap and they're very well made. And I love these, especially. Like, I have another pair, and I don't wear them as much because they're, like, tan, like the color of this right here. With the black ones, I, you can wear it with anything, so I wear it, like, every day. The last favorite is this huge-ass box. It's um, the Ninja Blender, and we got this. We put it on layaway at Walmart, and we got it during Christmas time. And I'm, like, in love with my blender, guys. I feel like I've lost a little bit of weight because I eat smoothies literally every single day. Like, it's so easy. I just freeze all the fruits, and then I just pop it in the blender and then keep it moving, you know? Sometimes I put it with milk. Sometimes I put it with water. And I really like making smoothies. Like, it's good for me because I don't like eating breakfast, so I'll just make a smoothie. And it doesn't upset my stomach to do that. So, yeah. It's the Auto IQ One Touch Intelligence Nutra Ninja with Smooth Boost. It comes with this metal um, cup with a lid, and then it comes with the clear one, and then it comes with this one also. And I really like this because it blends up everything. It's like it's a little bit loud, but I feel like every blender is like kind of loud. I don't know. I can live with that because it's just for like a minute. You press it, and then it does it for a minute, and then it turns off. And I just really love this. So yeah, I hope this video is not too long. I had like a lot of stuff backed up that I thought about. So yeah, I'll link all the stuff that I had in this video down below. And let me know what you think about the comeback of favorites videos. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!